In the last two years, there's been enormous amounts of misinformation, miscommunication, and literally bad reports in the news media and reputable medical journals that have said that omega-3 fatty acids have no role in cardiovascular disease or no role in coronary heart disease. And what I want to do today is review the flawed studies that have been reported and misreported, even by the authors, much less by the news media, and go through some new reports that have come out just in the last few months to put in perspective what the role of omega-3 fatty acids are in coronary heart disease. Now, when you read medical articles, one of the first things you want to do is look carefully at what the title says. And second, what did they do related to the methods? Now, give me an example of how this can be so deceiving. One of the first articles that came out said, what is the role of omega-3 fatty acids in cardiovascular disease? Now, if you define cardiovascular disease, what do you think of? Well, they thought of the following, heart attack, stroke, total mortality, coronary heart disease, angina, bypass graft, knees for stents, hospitalizations from heart disease, and a lot of other things. In other words, they included everything you could think of that was called cardiovascular disease. What if the title had been changed and said, what's the role of omega-3 fatty acids in coronary heart disease? And then you looked specifically in the article for what happened with coronary heart disease and heart attack you get a very different story. But when they lump everything together, and this is where you get misled in clinical trials, a lot of things put together don't necessarily mean that one thing out of all that didn't get benefit, and others got no benefit or it made them worse. When you do the net result, comes out as a null zero.